Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Nastasia. If you're new here, I'd love it if you would subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Also don't forget to follow me over on TikTok and Instagram if you haven't done so as well. For today's video, I am super excited because we are tackling my guest bathroom. So this is going to be the guest bathroom makeover. I feel like this turned out exactly how I wanted it to and I'm super excited about it. So as always, the links to everything that I used for this transformation will be in the description description box down below for you guys to check out. Without further ado, we can just jump right into it. before we head on in for this tour i wanted to share with you guys a before of what this bathroom looked like so here that is just so you guys can see what it looked like and now we are going to step on in to the newly redone guest bath i do have another bathroom in here so if you guys want to see a tour of that one please let me know in the comments down below because i would love to share that bathroom with you guys as well. So we are just going to jump right into it. I feel like everything that I did in this bathroom is so different than what I would usually do. I really stepped outside of the box in here and I have some really fun decorating ideas that I chose in this bathroom. So I cannot wait to share those with you guys. I guess we will start off right here over at the sink. All right, I actually do not mind this light at all. It's got kind of like a rustic-y vintage vibe to it. So I left that in here. I decided not to switch it out and I kept everything very renter friendly in here as well. So starting off with the sink area with the towels, I'll explain to you guys these towels for a second. These are from Amazon. They have like an eco-friendly line of towels now and certain home decor pieces i would highly recommend checking it out i love these not only are they like eco-friendly but they're i'm not kidding these are some of the best towels that i've used they feel very luxurious and they definitely don't break the bank so if you want some high quality towels i would definitely recommend these they have a few different colors so these are like the neutral tone that they have they also have this really gorgeous blue i also have these in a gray and I'm not sure, but I do think they come in another color as well. So I just went ahead and used these as the towels in here. I love that it's more of like a mauve like gray undertone neutral. So I love that. And then moving on from the towels over here, this is where we start getting very non-traditional. So I got this like vintage little marble dish off of Etsy. I was like, this is so cute. Honestly, when I got it, I didn't know what I was going to use it for. But how good do the soap and lotion in the guest bath look in this? I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you guys can see like the beautiful vintage detailing on this. I am obsessed with it. They have a few more, so I'm gonna link the Etsy I got them from down below. It is seriously one of my favorite pieces in the home. So originally I had two just like matching soaps and lotions in here and it looked really good, but I just like this so much better. Also, these two scents pair so well together. It is insane. I have my Lake and Sky 1111 and then my Fleur Missing Person lotion. And I just love the height difference and then the contrast. So honestly, I think I will keep these in here. I didn't really like the whole matchy matchy vibe. I thought it just looked a little too perfect, but these store and fit in this so perfectly and I just love the way it looks. So I have that on the counter. And then moving to the opposite side of the counter, I have my tissue box with the beautiful tissue box holder. As always, everything will be linked down below so you can check it out. But we know that this is from Amazon. I love it. I got this one. It gives me very like Bottega vibes, if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I love it. It has just a little bit more detail on it than the regular like faux leather one. I still love the faux leather one. I have a few more of those within the home, but I just feel like this elevates the tissue box so well. And then I always like to have like a candle burning or some sort of fragrance. If it's not my Vitruvi diffuser that I have in here, I will have a candle. So currently I have this milk candle. I originally discovered this from Pottery Barn. They This is like one of their signature scents every time i go in there and then i found them on amazon and i love it 
And then under that, I always like to keep something under if I'm burning a candle, because this glass will get warm and it could cause damage to countertops. These are another great find. These I've had for several years and they are actually available on Amazon now. When I originally got them, you could only get them from Anthro and now Amazon has them and they're a little bit cheaper. So I would recommend that so much. So I just have my little candle on there and the countertop just looks so great. I just absolutely love this view. I think the countertop looks perfect. It's still very simple and minimal, but with the vintage piece, it adds a lot of like texture to it and I love the way this turned out. So moving on from there, we can focus on this piece of artwork. This is actually a beach in Croatia and I think we can all agree. I would rather be there right now. Just kidding, like I love filming videos for you guys, but like how beautiful of a vacation does this look? Like I definitely need to go to this beach club one day. That is my goal. This art piece I actually already had in my collection and I'm gonna be honest with you, I am thinking about changing the frame color. There's a few things in here that I still am working on and wanna switch up over time. The frame being one of them. I'm just nervous because I'm not sure if this wood was already treated. I was going to try and stain it a different color and I still think I will attempt to do that, but in case it failed, I wanted to do it after this video because you guys have been asking for this video for so long, I did not want to put any longer of a delay on it. So love that art piece, I think it fits so well, but I think we can all agree if it were stained a different color, it would just look a lot better in here. And next to the art piece, I always get so many questions about this piece. Everyone seems to love it when they see it. So I'm just gonna give you guys like an overview of it. So this is actually a vintage piece of wood. I got this from the Restoration Hardware Outlet for 90% off. It was an absolutely insane deal. I actually think I got more than 90% off because the retail on this was $5,000 and I ended up paying a hundred bucks for it. It's like eight feet tall. It is missing the piece at the bottom. There was like a metal piece that would allow it to stand up, but I just have it leaned against the wall. And to be completely honest, it is very sturdy. I'm gonna get close so you guys can see all of the cool like scratches and details on it. I love it and I can't believe it like fits in this nook. Like it was like made for this bathroom because it fits there absolutely perfectly. All right, and then moving down from the artwork, we have a home goods find. I still love home goods. I definitely don't shop there as much as I used to because I find that I just buy a lot of unnecessary things from there. So I like to stay away. Um, also, the pricing has got so crazy recently. Do we all agree? The funny thing about this is when I purchased these, they were a lot cheaper. And then I went back and I noticed they were charging a completely different price for them. So I snagged these at such a good deal. So the smaller one, was $30 when I got it and the larger one was 40 and last time I saw the larger one it was actually I think closer to a hundred and then that small one was $60 so I got these right when they came out and my intention is still to change the color on them I think I need to watch like a DIY on how to vintage like pots that are not vintage like some sort of like diy vintage pa painting tutorial if you will because i don't want to ruin the detail on them but i do not like the color like when i bought them my intention was to change the color so that's another project that i want to work on if you guys have any tips or tricks on painting these and changing the color let me know in the comments down below and then in there i just have these beautiful a floral arrangements and these are little like faux stems look how realistic this one looks guys like i literally was like oh my gosh this is crazy like these are just so breathtaking like when i took them out of the box i was like oh my gosh i think a floral has some of the most beautiful like floral stems like this and they have some great ones for fall i showed them in my last video but you guys will definitely be seeing a ton of a floral for me because i think that these just look so good in here. And again, I might switch them up and make them like more fall themed, especially when I change the color of them. I think I will change the stems in there. So I'll pick up some more from A Floral because they're so good, such high quality. 
definitely want to get a few like of their faux plants as well i guess you can see right there it has some good detailing on it i just wish they weren't so like yellow toned they just aren't my style because of the color tone but the overall styling of them is my style if that makes sense i just want to switch up the color i also think it would look so much better like let's take a step back this corner would make a major improvement if we change the color of the frame and if we change the color of those i still think it looks good right now it's just the vibe will be different when we change those so i will show you guys a tutorial of that if you guys want to see and then moving on from that corner we just have this beautiful travertine tray you guys know this is one of my amazon must-haves i love the oval like shape that it has to it it's just more unique than your standard like square travertine tray it is such high quality it's got such good detail on it as well and then i just have this little vintage bowl that is another thing that i have been thinking about doing if you guys want me to start doing like little drops in my store of vintage home decor let me know because i've been getting so many cool things and i just obviously can't keep everything so let me know in the comments down below if i opened a little vintage store online would you guys shop i think that that would be super cool obviously my goal would be to have a storefront one day like i would love to have like a vintage storefront that is just goals but i've been just loving vintage pieces so recently I picked this one up and then i just put my palo santo in it and then below the palo santo is my essential oil for when i am using like my vitruvi diffuser and then we have my koala eco room spray i didn't realize koala eco was available on amazon and like so easy and accessible for everyone so this is a natural room spray i've been using their products lately and i am obsessed as you can see it says that the natural room spray is made with australian pink grapefruit and peppermint essential oil most of their things are made with essential oil the kitchen cleaner the hand soap all of it i've been using and i absolutely love it so just a quick look at this little setup i think this is so cute and so perfect for a bathroom i definitely think you guys should try out this little idea all right and then can we all laugh at me trying to fold the toilet paper like we're at a luxury hotel um i think i did kind of a good job i'm sure it could look a little better you know what i think they usually do is they don't leave the bottom pointed it's like tucked under but you know what i tried i have a simple human trash can as well as this cool little essential in here it's to clean the toilet bowl i mentioned it in one of my last videos as you can see down there it actually has the little area where you can put the cleaner that you're using in it and then you use that gray button to like squirt it in the toilet the bristles are silicone so it's a lot more sanitary and then it has a little drip tray at the bottom that you can empty so that is just a bathroom essential that everyone needs and then the trash can again i really do like simple human products and i think that if you're looking for a new trash can this is perfect honestly in the past i always try and find like a cute little white trash can or things like that they are so hard to keep clean white trash cans and like the cute little trendy ones you see everything on them and especially since this is in the guest bath it's just going to be a lot easier to maintain something that's a little bit higher quality and is stainless steel and isn't gonna attract and like show all of the little microscopic dust particles on it so definitely would recommend checking that one out all right and then moving over to the shower curtain i get so many questions about this and i wish i had an answer for you guys i'm gonna go on the hunt before i post this video and see if i can find it anywhere but i'm letting you guys know this is a new construction and the shower curtain was already included so i'm not sure where it's from and i've looked a few different places but i think i have a good idea of where i can find something very similar it is beautiful the only thing is i would say i would have wanted it to be just a tad bit longer i think i would have had it more so like close to hitting the floor i do like how high they brought it up but for my liking i would have had it to be a little bit longer so if i find one and i can find one a little bit longer i'll also be purchasing that for myself but speaking of that we can go down to the mat that i chose this one is pricey i'm not gonna lie but i could not find anything that i liked this one is from pottery barn i'm gonna see if i can find a dupe that's cheaper because to be honest it's expensive and if i weren't like into home decor as much as i am if I were just like a regular person decorating my house, 
I don't think I would have spent this kind of money on a map, but I loved it. It's olive green and it's got this like checkered pattern to it. You can kind of see the detailing. It's super comfortable and I love it. And I still would recommend it. I think it's a good investment. I don't think you'll need to like get too many bath mats over the years. You can wash it and it holds up really nicely. Okay, and then I'm also using a salt mortar to keep the door open. Um, that's like my little door stop at the moment. There's something wrong with this door and it like won't stay closed. So that's why that's over there, but I have my little mat. And then up from there, we have this other beautiful nook. So we can start by showcasing this beautiful marble piece. This is, I believe from either CB2 or Crate and Barrel. I'm not sure which one exactly. I more recently picked it up and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I was like, what am I gonna put in this like little nook here? I didn't know. And when I found this, I was like, that is the perfect addition to that little space. So I'll share a little close up of it here so you guys can kind of see the detailing on it. It has gorgeous detailing on both sides, or I should say all four sides, but this is my favorite one. They do have this in a taller version. So this is the smaller version of the two. I personally love it. And then up here, I was getting a ton of questions about that pot. That pot is again from the same Etsy store that everything else in here is from. So I will link it down below. I'm obsessed with it. I more recently discovered this Etsy store and I pretty much have gotten seriously so much stuff in my home from it because it's perfect. And then we have this little faux tree that I shared with you guys recently from Amazon. And I thought it was like a faux like mini olive tree, but it's not, it's actually a faux thyme tree. So that's what it is. It's really perfect. I love it. As you can see down there, it's got the sand detailing. I still need to pick up some like sand. I wanna prop it up and then just have sand around it. But look at that detailing. Like look how good the faux sand that it's in is. And then look at the branches. This is seriously so perfect and so beautiful. I couldn't recommend it enough. So I love that piece. Then over here, obviously we still have the same Amazon towel. I just have one hanging up for anyone that would use the guest bathroom in here. All right, and then moving over from that towel, we have this beautiful wood carved piece from Anthropology. I'm gonna go over it a little bit because the reason I haven't hung it up yet is I did buy the set of two. So you can buy them individually or as a set of two. And I have the perfect place to hang the set side by side. But the other one is on back order, hasn't got here yet. So I was like, where can I put this like in the meantime? And I put it here and I honestly just love the way that looks together. But I didn't wanna commit to like hanging it up until I know that I'm gonna cancel the other piece and just have this here. But I think after looking at it for a while, I've decided to keep it here. So definitely need to hang that up in the little nook, but for now it looks just fine. Right there, I'm gonna go in a little closer so you guys can see like the detailing. Like look at that detail. It looks like a vintage piece, but it's not. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. The other one is more of like a brown orangey tone um, wood. And to be completely honest, I didn't like the tone of it. I did like the way they look together. But now after seeing this and just how well everything pairs together in here with it, I think I will go ahead and cancel the order of the other one and leave that piece hanging up in this little nook. The detailing on this from the other side, I just wanted to share it with you. It is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's perfect. So I think that will be hung up by the end of the week in here. that was everything that I wanted to share with you guys in today's video. As always, if you enjoyed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!